Hey, what's up guys? Quick vlog. I just did a bunch of lighting videos at Hot Water Warehouse Side Club and you know, I got to thinking, this place is really the exception to the rule with the whole nightclub bar thing these days. And I don't mean it's like an old fart, but what the hell happened to clubs? You know, when I was a little kid, I used to romanticize nightclubs. It was the place that I thought grown-ups wanted to go. And as soon as my mom would let me go to a skating rink, I was there because it was the closest I could get. There was a DJ, there was music, there were girls that I went to school with, or girls that went to different schools even. I was able to talk to them on an equal level. We were all kind of under the lights, we were all skating, we were all hanging out, we weren't on the playground, we weren't in the classroom. It was a very level playing field. And I always loved that about clubs. It had nothing to do with how much money you had, it had everything to do with how cool you were and how you handled yourself. And that's what I love about club culture, or loved about club culture anyway. The music, the people, the environment, the atmosphere, all of it. But it seems dead now whenever I travel and I go to clubs, like Vegas for instance. It's all about VIP now. Do you know, and most of you may, that when you go into a lot of clubs these days, there's not even a place to sit down. You have to keep moving, unless you pay top dollar for bottle service or VIP, in which case, you're special, everyone else isn't. Everyone else is just a commoner, they're in the way, the bouncers treat them like shit, the bartenders even kind of treat them bad sometimes. That's been my experience. And, and that just is counterproductive to everything that I think was beautiful about club life and club culture. Studio 54 set a real milestone for nightclubs. You could have a plumber in there dancing next to some Middle Eastern prince or Mick Jagger or whoever the rock star was that happened to be there that night. They weren't treated any different than anyone else. If you got in, you were a star and they treated you like one and you felt like one. And that's what I always loved about club culture. And I know I'm repeating myself and I, I apologize for that. But it's just a damn shame that you can't just go and chill out and be equal with everybody. It's too bad that it's come to this bottle service thing and this VIP thing. I don't know. I hope there's a revolt. I hope the new generation sees that this really isn't the way to go. And I hope there's a backlash. There probably won't be. There are people with money or people who maybe take their entire check and want to blow it on this VIP service to show how cool and fly they are. Well, you know what? You're not that cool and fly. You either are or you're not. And most of these VIP people, they're not. They just have some dough. The cool people are probably out there tooling around somewhere in the crowd, or maybe they've just decided, I don't want a part of this anymore, so they don't go. That's just a vlog. I wrote a DJ News article about this last month. You can read it if you want to. I'll put the link in the description of the free version that you can check out, and maybe it was a bit more eloquent than my vlog here, but I just wanted to get that out. So that's it. Stay tuned for a lot of lighting videos. I did a whole bunch of them, and we'll be in Atlantic City next week. Looking forward to that. Until then, practice and enjoy.